Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank. Today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay. So, I don't know if I want to replay any mission in particular right now. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and advance the story a little bit. Watch point Alpha, Depth 3, destroy target. Destroy the core of the subterranean facility reactor and disable the laser barrier. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Stepping into the unknown. Let's do it. Walter. It's like he already knows where the coral convergence is. What makes him so confident? Main system. Activating combat mode. Hmm. Oh, there he is, Walter. So, might be Destroy some sort of coral beam to you. The laser barrier. Raven, let's start by finding our way in. So got those situational parts on, we'll see how they do. We'll play a little bit of a mission and if they're not a good pair, we'll move on to something else. <laughs> well, took out those little things. Ooh. Okay. Wonder if this is like a really long, hard boss fight. Okay. I guess it is. This area is defended by snipers. Don't let them shoot you down. Hmm. I level threat. Okay, so we moved that much further along. No sign of the corporations. Looks like we're the first ones here. Ooh. Attack. Weird. Hmm. I wonder, should I just jump up here? Perhaps. Let's see if there's anything up here. I feel like there's gotta be a secret somewhere. Oh. Gotta get out of that blasting zone. Let's see. So that sniper thing is still over there. AP at fifty percent. Doesn't seem to be doing any any favors staying down here. So let's just move in a little bit closer. Trace around the outside, six two one. There must be a way in. Okay. Ooh, 
Oh, that's got a nasty hit. Okay, let's see. A little further down we go. Fly out this way. This looks like there could be something down this way. Let's see, is there? Nope. Looks like there's not. Okay. See much yet. Should have let that guy get a few good hits on me for no good reason. <laughs> I need to swap out from this short range thing. I don't think it's doing me a ton of favors. Okay, let's see. That was a good dodge. Looks like a way in. So far. There, six two one. Destroy the target. Hmm. See, I had to go further in, maybe? There we go. Pressure chamber destroyed. Get out of there before it explodes, six to one. The partition. Oh, got a big fight coming up. See how this goes. Definitely not with my health and equipment. We'll have to get out something kind of fast and cheap, I think. Oop. Oh, not dodging like I should be. <laughs> oh, and it's healing too. Oh, darn. Wow. That is a fast little guy. 
did say ephemera, and I think that's some of the stuff I've equipped, so it makes sense. Um, let's look at one of our other guys. We'll do the rank A obliterator. Oops. Come on now. Get up there. Oh boy. Okay. Raven, you have to get clear. It's gonna blow. Brace for impact. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's not a super hard mission either. Like, that's a lot of money. How is the trip underground, Walter? The enforcement system silent, at least. Tried to take 621 with it. Good thing it failed. Well, that deals with the PCA then. What about the corpse? Archibus told us to wait before entering Terra Incognita. So you're close then. The corpse won't be helping each other over the finish line. Yeah. Archibus wants Balaam out of the picture first. Looks like Archibus is gonna win the race no matter what. Short term, maybe. But I think 621's going to be the key in the end. And that's why I shouldn't be the one to choose which jobs we take. Sounds risky. Our friends must be getting antsy. Maybe. But I think 621's got friends to worry about, too. Raven? 
You've got a request from the Liberation Front to go with the order from Archibus. It was sent by Nettle Flatwell. He's the de facto leader of the Liberation Front, and he wants to meet you. One new message. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. S-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. You will now face the best of the best. We wish you luck on the difficult road to mastery. All right, nice, a challenge. Let's see if we can do it. All right. I mean, we have only three. Okay. O three S rank King Esther Crown, the independent mercenary who arrived on Rubicon around the time that the Coral response was rediscovered, held to be a member of a branch activist collective, but active in the Rubicon system. King is said to have confounded an entire fleet of heavy warships in a solo diversionary maneuver during an attack on Station Thirty One. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people, and King is believed to be the oldest of the current roster. Alright, let's try it with the uh, A rank obliterator. See how we do. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number three. Only the best remain. Subject AC, Aster Crown. Call sign, King. That is a cool looking mech. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. It's got a shield. Some fast firing things. I think we'll be able to take it fast, maybe take two tries, but we're gonna see. It's got some stunning stuff, so that might be hard to overcome. Woo! It's doing better than I expected. This hovering is uh, paying off pretty well for it. Oh, not too casual with it, I think. I wonder if instead of the uh, plasma thing, I need to get, um, or instead of the uh, scudder, I need to get a plasma thing to break that shield of his. I think I'll try that. Wow. That gave me a challenge compared to what I had before. So let's see. Yeah, we'll try this big one. Main system, activating combat mode. Oops, I haven't been using my fire at all. Keep boosting away, I don't know why. I guess I'm pressing too hard on the last stick. <laughs> oh no. Jeez. This guy is full of tricks. Woo. He is stunning me like crazy. I'm gonna win that one too. Wow. That is a tough guy. We'll try um, maybe one of the El Cheapos or something. There we go. Just really want to lock all the parts. Main system activating combat mode. To get those OS chips. Ah, there he goes. He's not fast enough to get away from the songbirds. Uh oh, let's move down to the ground. 
I wonder if it's to get away from the songbirds. It's definitely tougher than the A ranks. So close. <laughs> I think I'm gonna swap out to uh, tank treads and that'll give me all the armor I need. And uh, I don't know about this shotgun. I think that, that was probably not doing me a lot of favors. So let's swap it out for something else. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll do, we'll do this and swap out legs for tank. And yeah, this should probably be unstoppable at this point. Main system activating combat mode. Oh yeah. <laughs> Drift our way to victory here. Huh. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, he's dodging me a little bit now. Oh, gotta get clear. Here we go. Feeling good. Let's see if we got it this time. AP at thirty percent. Oh, better get on. Here we go. Nice. That only took me making like one of the cheapest builds to be able to take that one out, but hey, it wins a win, right? Concluding evaluation. <laughs> well done. Jeez. Can't imagine the skill to do that with uh, a more skillful build. That's tough. We got six chips for that win, too. Wow. I'll go see if I can install it right away. Uh, let's see. Let's do kinetic weapons since that's what I largely have on hand right now. And back to the arena. All right, Gun One, Michigan, Liger Tell, commander of the Red Guns, the Balam Group's AC Squad. Michigan took up leadership after a career as the commander of the Furlong Armed Fleet. There, he earned a reputation as a merciless, heavy-handed ogre of a man, and he was equally feared by friend and foe alike, who knew him as Hell on Four Legs. Apparently, he has posted a bounty on his own head to Balaam's bounty board. The stipulation of half of the reward money is to be distributed among his former comrades at Furlong. This will be fun. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Number 2. Rank S. Subject AC. Liger Tail. Call sign Gun 1, Michigan. Commencing evaluation. Starting to see a thing here with uh, having tetrapod legs in the S rank. Wonder if the number one has it too. Oh, is he saying it's that shield area? No. Yeah, I barely put it in on him so far. I mean, he is all over the place, isn't he? I guess he's got some kinetic armor of some sort, because he barely doing anything to him. No, I think I'm getting hits on him like crazy. I wonder if energy and explosives are a way to take this guy out. Oh, 
Alright, looking good so far. There we go. Oh yeah, this build just totally takes out the fun of the fights. I might try uh, taking it down just a little bit to see what the next one's like. I don't know. I might go ahead and obliterate it. Who knows? We'll see. Alright, gun one Michigan. So yeah, let's go ahead and do another OS tune up and we'll put it on uh, explosions if we can. Yeah. And we could go ahead and get a synergy upgrade too. Nice. All right. Let's see. Freud, locksmith. Commander of the Vespers, Archibus Group's augmented human squad. An ace pilot who achieved an astonishing 94.7% mission success rate during an island war disturbance. Freud is widely suspected to be a recipient of repeated adjustments, much like Snell. However, the real Freud is simply an ordinary human being, a man who enjoys piloting his AC and making incremental improvements on his daily sorties. All right, let's do it. I'll just go ahead and use our obliterator here to see if we Final can get through. Final combat aptitude evaluation program. This will be the last evaluation. Subject AC, Locksman. Call sign, V1, Freud. Looks like a pile driver, maybe on the left arm? I'm not positive. Evaluation. Maybe a scutter, a laser cannon. Main system, activating combat mode. Not positive though. I didn't spend a lot of time learning the different weapons in this game. Ooh, he's fast. Wow. And he's got a shield. Darn it. Have to blow that up as fast as we can. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much of a threat yet. Maybe it's because of those upgrades to explosives that I did. Oops. He is evading my songbirds fairly well though. Give him that. Slippery. Very evasive. I'm a little afraid that if I slow down, he'll uh, get a line on me and hit me with that call driver or whatever it is in his left arm. Get you, buddy. There we go. Wow. He maneuvered like no tomorrow. That's impressive. Target destroyed. This concludes all evaluations. We thank you for your cooperation. Okay, we did it. Ah, oh, laser drone, cool. It's a pretty cool emblem too. Congratulations, you have completed all ranks. Though these encounters may be simulated, you have reached the apex of our roster. We would be grateful were you to aid us in our research and development. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. All right, nice. Evaluation complete. We need a CAE program. Nice. All right, let's see. So I'm assuming that part I got will give me access to it. Um, I think it was laser drone. I'm guessing that's a shoulder unit of some sort. 
Nope, let's see. There it is, laser drone. Developed by VCPL, when launched, these drones surround enemy machines and provide supporting laser fire. Drones also pursue enemies, allowing the user to effectively outnumber their target. Okay, that sounds like it's a fair bit more powerful than the laser turret itself, so maybe we'll try that out here in the next round. Um, let's see what we have in the parts shop since we have a fair bit of money now. Uh, let's see. This generator sounds pretty nice. Boost speed only goes down a little bit. Uh, the energy supply goes down a lot though. Capacity to recharge go up way high though. Supply recovery goes up a good bit. So energy weapons would go would suffer a bit on this one. And it is of course heavier too. Hmm. I don't know. I'm having a hard time deciding if like any of these generators are really worth it. Kind of the same with the boosters and stuff too. I want to buy one of everything, but it's looking harder and harder to justify. And these tetrapod legs look like just a strong upgrade over the other ones. Um, hmm. Might consider that. What else we have some cores. Wow, this one sounds pretty powerful. Weight goes up. Defenses go down by a bit. So there's an attitude stability. I don't know. It sounds pretty nice. I think I'll splurge on it. What else can we get? Let's see. So this is a high armor piece. Might save up for that since I'm so close. And let's go ahead and mess with our assembly a little bit here. We'll go with this. And we'll mess around the core a little bit. There we go. And let's see what was on the core before. It goes the mine alpha one. Yeah. I think this is better in mine alpha overall. Like those points differences are uh, quite a bit. Especially in the defenses, I think that it'll total out to be better. Well, AP as well. Okay. Let's see what we have, and let's check out another mission or two. All right, intercept the red guns. Watch point alpha depth one. Destroy enemy AC. And eliminate enemy squad. Eliminate Michigan Red Guns top commanding officer and destroy the Red Guns main MT4 sex rewards based on the number of enemies destroyed. Got a job for you, 621. This one's from the Archibus Group. Raven, this request comes from our affiliate, Schneider. First, I'll brief you on the state of conflict between Archibus and Balaam at Watchpoint Alpha. The Watchpoint's defenses inflicted heavy losses on Balaam's initial wave with many deserting. More recently, they've engaged with our forces only to continue their downward spiral. Despite this, the Red Guns commander, Gun 1 Michigan, remains alive and well. With his AC Liger tail being ready to lead the surviving Balaam MT Fords as we speak. We want you to intercept them, to hammer the final nail into Balaam's coffin. Should you decline, we have V4 lined up to take over. This concludes the briefing, awaiting your favorable reply. Okay, here we go. Just get it done. There's nothing more for me to say. I wonder if this will go straight into the fight. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. 
Enemy readings. Paratroops incoming. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! Looks like Archibald did some clown on a suicide mission. Mass iron, it's like. Did you watch you? Oh, yeah, the deserter who kicked his pants and ran. Oh, but hey, I forgot we still kept you around. The quash is worth a hundred of you, which means, Albany, the Merc is worth twenty to him. You're doing nothing productive. Why don't you do the math for us? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is a destroyed energy reactor thing too. Hit somebody now. I guess I need to take out some of these little ones. Don't push the old girl too hard, huh? Fine! I damn near missed the show, Tobin! Listen up, maggots! This field trip is now a hunting expedition! You can go home now, or follow me if you got a death wish! I'm gonna get the laser uh, thing out. Might do that if I die. This is crazy. Well, hit me hard. Not in the back. <laughs> Jeez, that's tough. So much. Nope, oh, those targeting missiles got me pretty bad. Jeez. Oh, 
Might have to switch over to one of the tank builds because it's crazy. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Like, just about out. It's crazy. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna be out of ammo. Wow, jeez. I like this match, it's cool, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. Let's uh, go ahead and load out something really mean. Um, do this, and back out and we'll swap out some things maybe we'll go with a bazooka this time and instead of songbirds actually i think it was in the right unit we had the laser turret or laser drone perhaps it'll help me out a little bit in our quest here okay and i do want to get my fcs set to something it's really good at close range. I guess that's already set to what we need. And what else could we do? That's probably about it. All right. Main system activating combat mode. Enemy raids. Paratroops incoming. Oh, wow, jeez. There we go. Take out all the little guys.
Ground seem to be a big help in the extra defense from a uh, tank seems to be good too. It's a lot harder than in the uh, simulations. Wow. Yeah, I don't see a way to end this. It's crazy. Perhaps the tetrapods where I can get up really high up above them would be well. So I'm actually already out of uh, all my ammo again. Like, this is wild. Hmm. The mission's gotta have some sort of weakness. Perhaps it's weapon. Uh, weakness could be energy, maybe? I bet it's gotta be something like that. I didn't even, I barely got around like, looks like maybe 60% health. Wow. I think that was better than last time though. Okay. So, gotta build this up somehow. Let's see about, we'll try a tetrapod and how about, it says songbirds will go with some sort of missile launcher and for the back unit, I think maybe the same idea could be good, but we'll go with, say that and I feel like we do need a good energy weapon though. What do we have? Hmm. Wonder if I could hit him with that. Overburden though. Perhaps we could switch up to Scudder or something. Alright. Let's see how that goes. get up pretty high with this. I wonder if I can take advantage of that. Third wave incoming, Raven. Let's see if they'll come up here and I can just pick them off one by one. That'd be great. Oh, come on, sir. You're gonna 
Take out these little annoying drones. There we go. Nice. Can we go any higher? Oh, this is it. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. This is so funny. But it seems to be working. I don't know where to go on this. I'm gonna have to have the armor and the tank. I'll give it one more try for the day and we'll uh, start picking it up next time. Wow. Now, bladed weapon may also be a good way to take this out too. Too good. He healed too. Ah. Uh. All right. Let's give it one more shot. Hmm. <laughs> they rolled up to me and to try to taunt me. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. What can we do here? I think we do want to keep bad cook on because I was thinking about the area of effect damage it's doing. Um, I do wonder if swapping this out for that thing that causes AC, ACS strain could help. I'd like to try that. And I guess we'll keep songbirds on. Let's swap out the legs. And. Hmm. Let's just try it. I'll give it one more shot, then I may look up some builds, build suggestions for this.
Here we go. If I can take down the helicopters to reduce what they deploy on me, that'd be cool. the lager tail can go, go, go. Follow the Time to finish the job six two one. All right, come on, Liger. as many of these barriers as I can. Oh, I'm gonna stun on him. Oh, I'm getting stuck again. Crazy. I wonder if I need a needler on him. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I will be replaying some missions on Mach Weaponry because I just do not see how I beat this without some nicer guns of some sort. I never did try energy and maybe that's why I'm lacking so I might give that one more shot just to see if it does even better. I'm gonna give energy a shot because that was still not enough ammo. Alright, let's see. How about that newer core that we got? Was it this one? Does this one have better defense? A little bit, except for explosive. I need something with really good explosive resistance, I think. Looks like I may already have the biggest, or the best for that. Um, how about swapping out songbirds for something a little bit stronger? Or at least energy-based. Plasma missiles? How about laser cannon? Maybe. Okay. And... Instead of bad cook, I want something else. I don't know if the plasma thrower will do it, but we'll give it a shot and uh, something other than this guy. What about? burst machine gun. It might be a little bit of a joke, but I don't know. We'll give it one more shot to see if energy weapons uh, make any kind of difference. I don't think they will, but we'll see.
Oh, I totally missed that one. Or if this ACS shield thing too isn't doing me any favors. again. Darn. Not a boost. These guys are tough. We think that maybe the plasma lip thing could be a way to take this uh, bunch of dudes out at once, but uh, that or maybe a grenade uh, launcher might be good from these waves that keep coming in. So I'm not wasting tons of ammo and time with other things. I gotta figure out how to master something that doesn't have ammo, like plasma blade or something, because I think that's gonna be the only way I can get through this. Get those worms balling for the mamas on the stretchers. Could do one more try with it. Maybe something with some boosters could do well. So let's try just one more shot. Oops, my mouse is messing it up. Hmm. Let's start with this guy. And we will swap out some stuff. Maybe the ephemera legs or something. Thought I had that. There we are. Okay. And then we're going to swap out this for 
the laser blade? I think that's the one we want. Perhaps the pile driver. We'll do laser blade. Okay. Plus blade does have two hits, so. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. And what else we want? Let's look at the core. Maybe 40A. Produce is lower. Yeah, let's just try it. All right, one more shot. Get up high. Feeling pretty nice with this. I don't think I'll win, but still. Guessing that there is an end to it, but it's not seeing it yet. Yeah. 
crazy. Alright, let's see. <laughs> so close. So it looks like the, I did get through all of them, but the last two, that, or actually three, a little MT, a tetrapod. Oh, it looks like two MTs. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably a perfect place to uh, quit for the day. So let's go ahead and roll credits. Say thanks for watching. This has been STR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at STR Inc. on each. I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.